guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing something, again, a little bit different. I'm always trying to think of new things and, and videos to do for you guys just to keep it interesting. So as you guys know, I'll be going, I'm going through the whole wedding process. It is 37 days to go. My God, it's so weird to think, you know, it's just coming so quick. I have a counter behind me and I just remember when it was like a hundred or nearly 200 days and I'm like yeah it's, it's alright it'll be so far away and it's just coming so quick it's insane anyway so I've always been about you know keeping memories and you know keepsakes and things like that so I just wanted to share with you guys something that you might not have thought of but it's probably gonna be a great idea for you to look back on so I have a little keepsake box. Um, this one is for from my engagement and I will be doing one similar as well for the wedding. So I just wanted to get it out there, you know, because once the day's gone, then that's it. I mean, obviously there'll be photos and, you know, things like that, but it's just nice, I think, to keep some little things as well. So this is the box that I got. This is just from Kmart and it was $12 and I really like the top, it just says love is sweet so I think that's really fitting as well and then inside is just full of stuff so I'll just go through and give you an idea of the stuff that I've kept as well. So in here is just a couple of our engagement party invitations. I think that it is important to try and keep a hold of them, you know, just for memories and stuff like that. We did, um, we sent out thank you cards for presents afterwards. So just again, a couple of the thank you cards. I think that it's better to keep, you know, more than one, just in case something happens to one, you've got a backup. Now, <laughs> in this folder, so, Obviously, Facebook is like a huge. Everyone lives on Facebook. It's all about, you know, updating, you know, Facebook official and things like that. So when I got in, um, when I got engaged, I've actually printed all of the comments. Okay, this is so embarrassing, but I think it's a good idea. So I've printed. This is what I put up for our um, engagement announcement. And just down the bottom it says how many likes we got and then I've literally printed everyone's comments as well which I think is just a cool way to like look back on and they're just some photos that my mum took and um, I think yeah I think it's just a fun way to look back on and for it to be like oh wow like this was our Facebook announcement or something like that. I just thought it was a cool idea and so I just keep that in a folder so nothing happens to it. Okay, so underneath that here, so that's just more into the box. Now I have a pen in here. I don't know why. I think that's a bit of a mistake. These are two flowers, so these were on our engagement cake and we did have some bird cages for like a wishing well with vines and these flowers wrapped around it, so I kept those. And I have a lot more of like the safe, the, oh no, for the invitations and things like that. These are our wedding save the dates. This is the box my ring came in. So I'm actually, I was so disappointed because I'd always had this, like my mind was always like, I want a, like a black box with like black inside. I don't know, I just think that if it's black inside it looks more expensive and that's what I've always wanted. So um, when David gave me the ring, it wasn't actually in a box. So it wasn't until later on that I saw that it was white. I didn't say anything, obviously, because like, really, who cares? But going um, to the jeweler recently to do our wedding bands, I was like, oh, please, gonna have like a black, a 
box with like inside because I'd seen on their Facebook page that they have them and I got one and it's so cool I'll put a, a picture as well I think I took a photo recently of my ring in it as soon as I got it, I put the ring in I was so excited so when we were planning the wedding um, we looked at going to like up the coast of the Hunter Valley it's like wine region and they had a wet like a wedding open day with like you know how all the vendors go so you can see like cake places photographers videographers things like that they had a photo booth place so this is just photo booth photos that we took on the day so i'll always keep them they're cool and it's actually where we met our photographer as well so that's exciting um so just business cards Dockside, that's where we actually are having the reception. This is just a copy of all our engagement photos from our professional photographer, so left them in there. This is just a copy of the um, photographer, their packages and things like that, so I kept that in there. And also, so while we were at the Hunter Valley, there was a competition, a photo booth competition that you would win money towards a photographer, the reception place, and a cake place. And I actually won it. And I was going through a house the other day, uh, not the other day, probably a few, six months ago or something like that. And I found the vouchers and I'm like, wow, I'm not actually gonna use these. They're just gonna sit there and go to waste. So I went, it was an Instagram competition. So I went back through all the entries and I messaged all the people and I'm like, you know, have you had your wedding, blah, blah, blah. Just like probably coming across like a total crazy person, to be very honest. Um, two people got back to me, but the girl who got back to me first, she was so nice. And I sent her a message and I'm like, look, can I ask you a few questions? Can I add you to Facebook? And she's like, yeah, that's fine. I think she was probably thinking, yeah, I don't understand this at all. Anyway, so I added her to Facebook, got um, talking, like, have you had your wedding yet? Are you doing it in the Hunter Valley? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, I won, like, like $1,000 worth of the vouchers. I'm not going to use them, but do you want them? And she was so grateful. Like, I felt so good being able to do that for her. And it was crazy because she worked in real estate. She had a bulldog as well. And I just felt like we had a few things in common. So she was asking just random questions about work and where I worked, blah, blah, blah. And then it hit me because the next day she actually sent me a bunch of flowers. So I've just kept the note that she sent with the flowers and it just said, Dear Nicole, Shane and I wanted to say thank you so much for your kind actions and giving us the vouchers. We feel very blessed, Lisa and Shane. So I feel like that was so beautiful of her to be able to do that. Um, I did not expect that at all, but it was just nice that it went to someone so grateful. Um, and then, so here is just all the cards that we received at the engagement party. I got some photos printed to like put on our wall. So this was just like spare photos that I didn't put up. And then this is just the guest book as well, which I kept down the bottom. So I'll show you what that one looks like. And that's just what it looks like. And my mum always does title pages and things like that. And yeah, it's just plain pages written in there like that. And then just in the back as well, I just put, you know, who gave us what and things like that. Just so we can remember and know, yeah, what they gave us. And that's it. So I hope that this gave you guys like an idea or, you know, just if you didn't think about it, maybe think about it because, I mean, this box isn't huge. Like it doesn't take up a lot of room. And I think it's just nice to have it in storage. You know, you can go back through it, relive the memories. And it's all just in one place as well. So it just makes it so much easier. So if you have any questions, comments, of course, please leave them down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I 
we'd love for more video suggestions and what you guys want to see so again please leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video soon thank you bye